I never thought I'd be the one out on the streets and it happened very quickly. A couple of times I got really scared. The minute I stand still and anyone picks up on it, that's the minute that it could go terribly wrong. When you're cold, you're hungry, you can't get the cold out your bones. The only together you've got is together with your sleeping bag looking for a doorway to crash in. It really is not nice. I, I was homeless uh, in my early 20s, so for me, um, I suffered quite a lot on the streets and recognised that if I didn't get help, that it would be very hard for me to um, probably see my late 40s, let alone my 50s. Mental health suffers terribly, and I think and that's where a lot of people, they become ill, self-neglect, and a lot of people don't make it to their 50th, which is such a sad thing. I have held more people in my arms who have died over the years. I've been working with them in my time on the streets. I sat with someone, he, he was dying. I started just talking to him about, you know, life, that he wasn't alone. You know, that I was there and it's, it's okay. You're not on your own, I'm here with you. I'm here with you. And he passed in my arms. If it wasn't for Porchlight and organisations like Porchlight, I think I'd surely be dead. If Porchlight hadn't found me, I don't know, I think I would have been going down, my life would have taken another direction. Everyone deserves this chance of being healthy, happy. And I help every individual. Um, holistically with their stuff. Um, it just puts another light on in their eyes. And for me, that means that another person has got a chance to um, regain their life. But I remember each and every one of them. They're not forgotten people.